I remember what you did. Okay. They remember too. You were the reason that we were all there. It happened because of you. And you can't tell anyone. Why would you? Oh, why would you? <laughs> it is your fault. Oh my god. What the heck? All of it. Holy. All right, guys. Welcome to Five Nights at Kane's 3. It just came out three minutes ago. I instantly hopped on the download page because, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this, guys. This is crazy. So we have a uh, rat over there on the side, probably Nightmare Rat. And it's been quite a while since I've played this game. I literally haven't played since the demo that you guys saw me play. And now it's finally here. So obviously, if you guys want me to do this as a full series, drop a like on the video right now. Let's go for 2,000 likes. And also comment down below that you guys want to see some more. But let's go ahead and start up a new game. I'm I'm pretty excited. I really am. Oh, what's this? What's this? We're going to have mini games, all that kind of stuff. How are you feeling today? It's been two weeks. I understand that it was very a very traumatic experience. But luckily, your brother wasn't seriously hurt. You have to remember, they weren't real. They were just machines. They aren't capable of harming anyone. What happened was just an accident. He was just... broken. But it's okay now. You're safe here. You remember them from the theater? Oh, you remember them from the theater. Ah, yes, the old one that you and your father went to a year ago, right? Your father has told me about what happened while you were there. You got separated from each other the day that day when the incident happened. Have you still had nightmares since we last met? Were they about those monsters you drew for me? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Am I, oh god, if I was drawing that, holy. You're a very creative girl. If my daughter was drawing that, nope, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> but you can't let your fears take control of your imagination. In order for your nightmares to end, you have to face your fears. You have to face the monsters. Show them that you're not afraid. Do you understand? It's the only way. Oh, we gotta face them. We gotta take them on. Now, Mary, I need you to try and remember what happened on that day a year ago. Oh, my. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it so much right now. Ooh, first little mini game here. Okay, we got a little cat here. Can't interact with anything. Oh, okay, space bar. Hello, it's me. I'm the origami cat. How am I here? You're dreaming right now. Sort of. At least, this room you're in is your old room from before you moved. But right now, it looks like you barely remember it. You've had a lot of nightmares lately, right? Well, that's why I'm here. I have a couple of tricks to fighting the, the monsters. Remember a few years ago? You had trouble sleeping almost every night. So your dad gave you a cassette tape player with a tape with quiet music that had oh, that he had made for you so you could sleep. I bet it would also help you with sleeping better now. The other thing is, the monsters hate light. So I suggest flashing light in their eyes whenever you can. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I don't even remember how to play <laughs> this game. Like, I don't remember the demo at all, really. Unless they're under your bed, listen for, listen for if they go there. In such a case, peek under the bed to see which side they're at. Then go back up and face the opposite direction. Turning your back will lure them out from under the bed. Listen closely for the sound of them peeking out, and then, I'm guessing shine your light on them, face back towards the opposite end of the, of the room again to give them a good dose of light in the eyes. Now, go look for the tape player. I'll stay here if you need my help. All right, so we have to find this tape player, guys. You all know we need that tape player. I think it actually, if I remember correctly, it fast forwards the nights, I think. This is the deepscape. This is where your deepest memories are. I'm talking to you from the dreamscape. See those glowing particle thingies? They make up a path. The tape player should be somewhere ahead. Just remember to stay on the path so the shadows can't get you. If you get lost, I can get you back, but only if you're if you're on the path. Okay. I can't reach you if you're out in the darkness. Let me know if you need to get back by pressing R. All right. So if we when we get our tape player, we can just press R and get back to the cat. Beware of the shadows. Stay on the path. Got it. All right. So we can run too. I'm curious if we go off the path, what will happen? I'm guessing we'll just die, maybe? I'm kind of worried about running because I don't want to run off the path. Dude, this is really cool, though. Look at this nice, like, pixel art right here. I absolutely love it. All right. So where's my tape player? Ooh, we found another little stone here. The path does not necessarily lead to every destination. Okay. So that's just like a little troll path. Is that what you're trying to tell me, man? 
That path is there for nothing? What are we playing? Spooky House of Jump Scares? Oh god, alright, let's keep going. I do not want to fall off. I keep getting like really close to falling off, but I'm not. Oh, wait, how do I get that? Can I... A part of newspaper article. Read it? Yes. After closing soon, the brand new wire animatronics were sent back to... Blank. Rumors are circulating that the animatronics will be used as a base for newer designs of advanced, fully mobile animatronics, which are speculated to be used for a future project. Okay, we went into the darkness. Oh, we can. We can go in here. Okay, so I thought you would just like instantly die or something, but no, you can actually just walk around in there. Oh, so I don't really got to worry about like staying on the path. All right, what does this say? Do not be afraid of sleeping. Uh, oh, stepping slightly off the path. <laughs> yeah, sleeping off the path. Step too far away from the path, however. And that is when you should be afraid. So, if I just go over here, you mean? I, I want to know what will happen, but I don't, <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm not ready to risk it, man. We'll, we'll figure it out one of these times, and I'm sure I, the game's probably going to force me to do it at some point. Holy crap, dude. This is like a complete maze. Another piece of a newspaper article. A part of a newspaper article. Read it? Yes. After closing so soon, the brand new wire animatronics were sent back. Oh, it's the same, it's the same piece of paper. Huh. Okay, that's weird. Why is there two of the same pieces of paper? It's like one was in the darkness and one was in the light. I wonder if I wasn't supposed to go in the darkness at all. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, let's find this freaking thing though. We got to get back. Now I can see why there's this R button to return. Because if this wasn't here, holy crap, it would take so long to get back. Oh, we found it. Hold on, let's touch this first. What is this? Found arcade game number one. And then this must be the tape player. Yes, let's press R. Back to the dreamscape. Yes. That is really cool. All right, what do you got to say, kitty? Or I guess origami. <laughs> Great, you found it. Do you remember how to use the tape player? Um, yeah, I, I'm i gonna say no, just so I get the tutorial again, because I really don't know. The tape can help you with sleeping well, which makes the night go by much quicker. Okay, so it is what I remembered. Okay, there's three buttons on it that work. Play, stop, and rewind. Unfortunately, the pause and fast forward buttons are broken. But they aren't useful to you now anyway. Ooh, wait, now anyway, so that means they probably will be eventually. So don't mind them. Press play to play the tape, stop to stop the tape, where it is. You can only rewind the tape after stopping it. You can stop rewinding by pressing stop while the tape is rewinding. Wait, you can stop rewinding by pressing stop, okay. Got it. Once the tape finishes playing, you rewind it as much as you can. That's all, good luck with the nightmares. I'm rooting for you. All right, let's do it. Go to sleep. Yep. So this is where the main game starts. That's interesting that like, <clears throat> like in the side game, it's like pixelated, but then the main game is like not pixelated. That's actually pretty cool. All right, time to turn up the volume. Time to get ready for the spooks and the scares, guys. Here we go. Night one of Five Nights at Candy's three. Remember to use tape player. The time goes by twice as fast. All right, let's get it started then. Hit that. All right, so we got that going. I, I can tell you guys right now, I'm going to have to familiar familiarize myself with this game again, and I'm probably going to end up dying a few times, but oh boy, we'll figure it out, guys. It feels like there's some stuff missing here. Like, there was some other drawings and stuff that are gone now. I don't know. All right, whatever. We're doing fine. What is this button again? Oh, look under the bed. What did he say about looking under the bed? I think you're supposed to see him, but then you got to turn this way. And then when you turn back at him, that's when you can get him. I think that's how it works. Oh, crap. I forgot. We really got to be focusing. Okay, so all you got to do is just simply shine your light on him to get him to go away. Um, the only thing I'm worried about, like I said before, is under the bed. I, I really cannot remember how that works. I remember, like, looking down and seeing him down here and then coming back up instantly and then turning over here, listening for a sound. And then once I heard it, I turned back and I shined the light on him to scare him away. But... I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> we're we're going to have to find out, and I, I don't think it's going to be fun. I don't think it's going to be a fun trial and error sort of session that I'm about to have to go through. Oh, man. He's only been coming at that closet right there. Okay, so he can attack from this closet, this closet, and then this door. Yep, there he is. Got him. And I think that's it. I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be a lot. There's going to be new gameplay implement or elements implemented into the game later on because... You know, he said about the tape player, so I have a f Oh, wait, 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 re re rewind it, rewind it. Um, rewind. Okay, wait, we gotta watch out. Come on, go, 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 he's probably on this side. No, he's not. Okay. Thought for sure as a fact he would be. Oh, door. Got him. All right, we're doing okay. I don't know how to tell when this thing is done rewinding or not. The button, I think, just goes back up. Yep, there we go. Hit play and continue. All right, 1 a.m. I gotta make sure I check this side. I wish there was a way to, like, check the sides fast, like, turn around instantly. I feel like there is a button for that, but I just don't know. 
And as you can tell, we saw Daco and Smike right there, and then Markiplier up there, and then some of the other Easter eggs. Oh, God! Um, I can't remember what to do. I think you shine. Yeah, you gotta shine your light on him. Okay. I, I, this is what it was. I don't, I don't think I did this correctly, but it seems to be working. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what? What? Something crawled under your bed. Okay, you've got to check under the bed. I remember this. And then you got to shine your light at him, I think. No, you got to go back up instantly. And then you got to turn to the other side of the bed. And then you got to listen, I think. I really cannot remember. I'm fairly certain we're about to die. Look back. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. We got him, I think. <clears throat> did we get him? Yes, it's gone for now. Okay, 2 a.m. Uh, I, I guess I did that correctly. I really, I don't think I did, but it worked. So, I, I'm not going to complain about it. Let's go ahead and start that tape player back up again. Or cassette player. And uh, hope for the best here. So, he he appeared in front of me. And I shined my light at him. Which I, I don't even know where he managed to come from from there. But I managed to get that part done. Then he went under the bed. I checked under the bed. And that revealed that he was over here. I thought I was supposed to look away from him. But it looks like you're supposed to look directly at him. What I'm probably going to do is after we complete this you know video or whatever. I'm going to go back and watch my old video. And just like <laughs> learn some strats for myself basically. And uh, hopefully I can figure everything out again. Because dude I do not want to get jump scared if I don't have to. Oh closet there you go. I'm curious though, because this is rat, so where nightmare cat still has to come, and uh, dude, that's that's where things are gonna heat up, because we're gonna be getting attacked. Oh, I heard that. What was that? Is that under the bed? Come well, on, let's check. What the heck am I hearing? It's not under the bed. Oh, closet. Wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, I didn't even see him there. I'm just hearing things. I think I could have sworn I heard him. I think it's just Trunks, actually, in real life. <laughs> the Trunks is like, he's playing with something, and I'm thinking it's like game sounds, and he's just freaking me out. Let's check under the bed again, though. Keep checking. Oh, okay, he's not here. Good. We're fine. Uh, where is he, though? Oh, why is my light flashing? Oh, God! Shine your light at him. Shine the light. Come on. Get that light on him. Get that light on him. Here we go. Come on, stop it. Come on. And... This is where he's gonna go under the bed. Okay. Something crawled under your bed. All right, I think this is where we check. Where is he at? Okay, he's right there. Um, I think you gotta face this way. And then you gotta face back again? No, you gotta face this way. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't hear anything. Face back. Oh, I heard it, I heard it. There he is. Yes, I heard it. Okay, so we, we gotta figure it out, guys. We gotta figure it out. I really have to start my tape player again. I keep forgetting about that. It's so major in this game. That I just, I don't know, I always forget for some odd reason. Alright, so we got rid of him that time. So, it looks like you have to turn away from there. You hear like a small sound and then you turn back. And that's when you can actually scare him away with the flashlight. Which, oh boy. <laughs> this this is uh, interesting. Oh, there's Jacksepticeye's guys, little eyes right there too. I just noticed that. Oh god, door. Okay. Uh, who else can we find here? I know there's some drawings down here. I don't really know who those are. It kind of looks like one of those might be Zombie Wars. I don't really know though. Um, and then up here, nothing else. I want to find the Easter eggs. And then that's like Doug, I think, from uh, Finance at Rachel's, if I remember correctly, from Nixon's game. And there's a few other Easter eggs, I think, that I just, I'm not finding right now because I'm really focused on, like, <laughs> trying not to die to the freaking gigantic nightmare rat that's chasing after me. It's kind of interesting, though. Like, I love the fact that after we played Finds at Candy's World, this ended up coming out, like, right after. We're just, like, on Candy Month or whatever. Like, or a candy week, I guess, which I'm perfectly okay with. Oh, door. All right, now time to rewind. See, I remembered it this time. I was just waiting for him to attack me one more time before doing anything, like, too risky. All right, where's he at now? Dude, for a night one, this is pretty long. I think, like I said before, though, it's just because I'm not winding up the tape enough. I've got to make sure I just I stay on top of this tape. Okay, it's done. I'm going to wait for him to attack one more time. All right, good. Let's quickly go ahead and press the button. Got it. All right, we're doing okay now. We got the music playing. We're at 4 a.m. Almost about to be 5, probably, because we played the tape. Should go by a lot faster now. And uh, we should have this in the bag, hopefully. <laughs> Let's hope that we don't die on night one, because that would suck. He's probably going to attack one more time, though, if I had to tell you guys. Oh, there we go. Door. All right. Now let's just keep it going. Come on, 5 a.m. Why are you taking so long to get here? The cassette tape's playing, man. We got some nice music going. You should be able to go by a little bit faster time. Come on. 5 a.m. <laughs> it's taking so long. I know he's gonna come out one more time, which is why I'm not looking forward to it. Let's rewind. Uh, no, stop. Rewind. Okay. 
We're gonna rewind a little bit early here because I think it was just about to end anyways. So I think we're okay in this in that sense. Uh, one of the things I'm I'm kind of worried about with this game though is it's not full screen for me for some reason. Whoa, he's in the room. Yep, there he is. Come on, shine it, shine it. Head, head. Stop moving and under the bed any second now. Here we go. Next one. And this one. Here we go. Under the bed. Yep. All right. Got to check. Got to check. Got to check. Got to check. All right. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, right side. Go to the left side. Left side it is. All right. We got to listen. Everyone listen. Oh, heard it. There it is. All right. So I've learned it. Yep. I've learned the sound effects. We got it, guys. Once you learn sound effects, you're good to go in like almost any Five Nights at Freddy game, Freddy game that you play. You just got to learn what everything means. All right. So quickly press play here. Got the music playing. It is now 5 a.m. I can barely... Okay, I was going to say, is the music playing? <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying before I got attacked, is the game is not in full screen mode for me. I don't know if there's an option back in the menu, but unfortunately, it makes my mouse go off the screen. Like, I'll show you guys. Like, right here. See? I went off the screen, and he, like, stopped looking to the left. So that could be a very big problem if I accidentally go off the screen, because <laughs> that means I can't move until I put my mouse cursor back on the screen, which, man, that could be life or death, all right? I'm just saying. I could die because of that. I really don't know, but I can't, I think in the demo we played up to night two, I want to say, or night three. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. I actually don't know if, um, if we don't shine the light on him, if he comes out, like, I think that just activates the scene where you have to, like, shine your light at his face. I don't think he instantly kills you if you don't shine your light on him when he's at the door. Oh, no, that was the cassette tape. Okay, dude, I got to, oh, I heard him. I think he's inside the room, or is that thunder? I remember this is the game that had the fake knocking, which got me so many times. Because it's just like, it, it's the most realistic fake knock I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, I don't know how Emil did that, but holy crap, he did a really good job with that fake knock. Okay, okay, wait, we're going we're gonna to do something a little bit risky here. We're going to press play without knowing where he is. Oh, we did it. Whew, that kind of scared me for a second there. I thought I lost, but nope. All right, so uh, what are we going to be doing now in the mini game? Let's find out. Ooh, all right, something new. Okay, it's like a different mini game now. Like the pixels are different and everything like that, if that makes any sense. Oh, is this my family? Hello, family, right? Is that who you are? I can't I can't talk to you. I guess you just, you're just gonna ignore me? Fine, I'll just, I'll just ignore you, I'll go this way. <laughs> Dude, this reminds me of like a Game Boy game, staff area employees only, like a Pokemon game, honestly. Like that's really cool. Okay, so that's the staff only area. Ooh, who are you? I haven't seen the puppeteer's puppet yet. I've heard that it's as big as a person. Oh, yeah, we saw, we saw the puppeteer's puppet, trust me. <laughs> we saw it in that menu. Okay, they're talking to each other. Oh, you look creepy, you're the killer, aren't you? You just look at him. Hi, sweetie, are you having fun? Oh yeah, this is definitely the killer. Okay, Trunks brought in his freaking squeaky ball. <laughs> All right, so Trunks brought in his giant squeaky ball. He was squeaking it everywhere, I had to cut that part out. But anyways, I hope you're happy with the place I picked out. It's just the two of us while your brother is at camp. So you can decide what we should have for dinner tonight. All right, thanks, man. So you're, you're my dad then. All right, cool. I, I, that, that's interesting. I mean, you, you seem like a serial killer. I'm just saying. You got that look <laughs> and that color. These arcade games are so boring. I once asked the rat if we could get some new ones soon, but then he got a bit angry. The, you asked the rat? The rat is a real jerk. What the? How, how did you manage to ask the animatronic rat <laughs> oh god <laughs> there he is right there <laughs> hey kid i'm the rat nice to meet you say the show's about to start in a few minutes want to play hide and seek um sure neato you go ahead and hide then i'll stay here and count to 100 um where exactly do i hide at i don't i'm not too sure about that i have a feeling we're about to die are you looking for a good hiding spot try hiding under one of the tables is this a tip no that's a chair all right, so the tables are back here with that other chick. There's no, like, countdown either, so I really don't even know. <laughs> He's going to kill me before I even get to the tables, man. Is this a table that counts that I can hide under? Nope. All right, keep going. The tables, I think, were over here, if I remember correctly. I want to hide in the back room. That'd be a cool place to go. Okay, tables. Hide under the table? Yes. Okay, what's going to happen now? He's going to find me, isn't it? It's going to be a jump scare. A pixelated jump scare, man. I'm dead. Oh, I knew it. Ha, ha, ha. I found you. Dude, that is, uh, that's creepy. Um, I knew, I, I knew there was going to be a jump scare that I could tell. Oh, and there we go. 
All right, guys, this is where I'm in the video. We have finished night one. We have done the mini games. We have found the rat, and we found our psychopath looking dad that looks like he's probably going to kill everyone at some point. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first video. If you guys did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.